math learners, welcome to another session here in ML with Sir Ash. Today, we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency-based lesson for quarter 1, week 4 of the Mathematics 8, which is specifically about word problems involving rational algebraic expression. Now, this is an application to what we have learned from the previous videos in the operation on rational algebraic expressions. So, the aim of our topic for today is to solve problems about rational algebraic expressions. Now, let us start. Here is the first problem. A certain number is added to the numerator and subtracted from the denominator of 5 over 8. The new number equals the reciprocal of 5 over 8. Find the number. Okay. In word problem, what you need to do is to translate the problem, the word problem, into a mathematical sentence. Okay. Now, since the problem here is we are asked to solve for the value of the number and that number is unknown, therefore, we will represent our number that is unknown as x. Okay. So, that x, as it has been said here, a certain number is added to the numerator. So, in the numerator, we will add x and subtract it from the denominator. And in the denominator, we will subtract x okay, of the fraction 5 over 8. And then, the new number equals the reciprocal of 5 over 8. Question, what is the reciprocal of 5 over 8? Very good. That is 8 over 5. So, our solution will be like this. We have 5 plus x over 8 minus x equals 8 over 5. Question, why is it become 8 over 5? Of course, it has been said in the second sentence that the new number equals the reciprocal of 5 over 8. The reciprocal of 5 over 8 is 8 over 5. Okay, and the x is being added to the numerator and being subtracted from the denominator. Okay. So, we have here our mathematical solution. Now, what we need to do here is to solve for the value of x. Now, this is already a rational algebraic expression. Now, what we need to do here is to isolate the value of x such that when we finish our solution, we will have x is equal. Okay. So, how do we do that? We have denominators here, right? Okay. We have 8 minus x and 5. Therefore, what we need to do is to get first the LCD. All right. And the LCD is 5 times 8 minus x because 8 minus x is a binomial and 5 is a monomial. So, therefore, in getting the LCD, you just multiply the two or you just put the two together such as this will be factors in order for it to be multiplied to our whole equation. Remember, this LCD will be multiplied to our equation, meaning in the left side of the equation and in the right side of our equation, giving us like this. So we have 5 times 8 minus x in the left side and we have 5 times 8 minus x on the right side. Now, remember that this LCD has part of our denominator. So, in the left side, it is the same as 8 minus x in the denominator. So, in solving this one, you can cancel this, giving you 5 times 5 plus x in the left side. Okay. And in the right side, since 5 and 5 are the same, you can cancel this. And the thing that is being left in the right side is 8 and 8 minus x. So, this is the next solution. Okay. So, we have 5 times 5 plus x because 8 minus x were cancelled. And in the right side, we have 8 times 8 minus x because the 5 were cancelled. Alright? Okay. So, now, you have a solution without a denominator. So, what you need to do here is to simplify. How do we simplify this? We just apply the distributive property. So, we distribute 5 to the left side and we distribute 8 to the right side, giving us 25 plus 5x equals 64 minus 8x. How did it happen? 5 times 5, that is 25. 5 times x, that is 5x. 
and you copy the plus. Alright. Then, we go to the right side, 8 times 8, that is 64, and 8 times negative x, that is negative 8x. Easy, right? Okay. Now, the next thing we should do is to isolate our x. How do we do this? We combine like terms. So, how do we combine like terms? We transpose all our variables in the left side, and those terms without the variables, we transpose it on the right side. So, follow the arrow. This minus 8x here will be transposed to the left side. So, this minus 8x will become plus 8x. So, that gives you 5x plus 8x. And 5 plus 8, that is 13x. Okay. Now, our 25 here, okay, follow the arrow. The 25 here will also be transposed to the right side, giving you the positive 25 will become negative 25. So, that is 64 minus 25 and 64 minus 25 that is 39 so we have 13x equals 39 how do we solve this one we just divide the whole equation by 13 in order for the 13 to be cancelled leaving us x and 39 divided by 13 that is 3 therefore we have our answer as the number is equal to 3 okay now Remember this, my dear students. It is important to check your solution from the words of the problem because the equation may be solved correctly, but the setup is incorrect. How do I mean by this? The first step is very crucial in solving word problems. Okay? Because when you translate the word problem into a mathematical sentence, that is where it starts. Okay? Now, if you have incorrectly translated your word problem, Regardless of whether you solve it correctly, the answer is wrong. Okay? But since we have correctly translated our word problem, now we can check whether it is correct. Okay, now we have three here, right? Okay, so showing in the solution, we have here 5 plus 3. Okay? And 8 minus 3. So 5 plus 3, that is 8. Okay, so it is checked in the numerator. 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. So, it is also correct in the denominator. Giving us that the answer we just solved is correct. Okay. Now, let us go to the second example. Now, we will solve problems about distance, rate, and time. Now, this is an example in your science lesson. Now, remember that distance, rate, and time is related to each other. And this is their relationship. The distance is equal to the rate times time. Now, if you try to solve for its rate, you just divide the distance by the time. But if you want to get the time, you just divide the distance to its rate. Okay, now what do I mean by distance? Distance are referred to those lengths like kilometers, miles, meters, such as. Okay. While the rate, those are like what we see in a vehicle, like kilometers per hour, miles per hour, meters per second, okay? So that is a rate. And time, of course, we know what this time is. It could be expressed as hours, minutes, seconds, years, days, it depends. Okay, now, let us try a problem. A boat can go 10 kilometers against a current in the same time, it can go 30 kilometers with the current. The current flows at 4 kilometers per hour. Find the speed of the boat with no current. Now, in order for you to understand the problem, first, you can also imagine the situation. Remember that if this is a boat, if it goes upstream, okay, it, if it goes upstream, meaning the current of the water is against it. Okay? So, the distance that will take the boat in order to, to go to a certain place is few because it is against the current. While if it goes downstream, it will become faster because it will, the stream will help or the current will help with the speed of the boat. Okay, but the question is, what is the speed of the boat in just a normal current? Okay, meaning no current at all. Okay, now... For you to understand more about this problem, 
you can make a table. Okay? So this is our downstream and upstream. The distance for the downstream is 30 kilometers. And the distance for the upstream is 10 kilometers. Okay? Now the rate, we know that our problem here is the speed, right? That is the rate. But we don't know the rate of our boat. We just know that if it goes downstream, it will be added by 4. And if it goes upstream, it will be deducted by 4. Okay, so that gives us x plus 4 and x minus 4. Now remember that our time, as we talked about earlier, that the relationship of the distance and rate to the time is that the distance divided by the rate. So, you divide this 30 by x plus 4, you have your time. You divide 10 by x minus 4, you have also your time. Okay? Now, this is the representation of our given. We have the time is equal to 30 over x plus 4 in the downstream, and we have 10 over x minus 4 in the upstream. Okay? How do we do this? We are talking with the same boat. We are talking with the same speed. So therefore, this downstream and this upstream, we will equate them. Okay, so this will be our solution. So we have 30 over x plus 4 is equal to 10 over x minus 4. Now, this is already a rational algebraic expression. Now, I will teach you another way in solving rational algebraic expression. If you have a fraction equal to a fraction, you can apply cross multiplication, meaning the 30 will be multiplied to x minus 4 and the x plus 4 will be multiplied to 10, giving you 30 times x minus 4 equals 10 times x plus 4. Now, you have here with no denominator, right? So this will be easy by applying distributive property. So we have 30x minus 120 is equal to 10x plus 40. 30x because 30 times x, that's 30x. 30 times negative 4, that is negative 120 or minus 120. On the right side, we have 10 times x, that is 10x, and 10 times 4, that is 40. Now, you have your answer here. This is the same as our example earlier. So we combine like terms, so we transpose our 10 to the left side, and we transpose our 120 to the right side. So the 10x will become minus 10x or negative 10x. So giving us 30x minus 10x. And our 120 will be transferred to the right, giving us 40 plus 120. So the result is 20x equals 160 because 30 x minus 10x, that is 20x, and 120, when you transpose it, the negative 120, it will become positive 120 plus 40, that is 160. Now, we divide the whole equation by 20 in order for us to solve for the value of x, and x will be 8, because 20 divided by 20, you cancel the 20, you give x. 160 divided by 20, that is 8. Therefore, we can say, that the speed of the boat with no current is equal to 8 kilometers per hour. Easy, right? Now, let us go to the third example. Now, let's talk about problems about work. Now, the rate of the work is just the same as our previous equation, the, about the distance, the rate, and the time. So, in a job, we can complete a job in T units of time. So, the rate is one job per T units of time or unit of time, okay? Now, recall that the formula of the distance is equal to rate times time says that the distance traveled is equal to the rate of travel multiplied by the time traveled, okay? Similarly, fractional part of a job accomplished is equal to the rate of work multiplied by the time work. So, we have here Al and Mario operate a small roofing company. Mario can roof an average house alone in nine hours. Al can roof a house alone in eight hours. How long will it take them to do the job 
if they work together. Okay. Now remember that Mario can do it in 9 hours. Al, on the other hand, can do it in 8 hours. Now, if they work together in a certain job, how long will it take them to roof a house? Okay. So the solution here is that we know that for Mario, one job is equal to 9 hours. Right? And for Al, one job is equal to 8 hours. So that is 1 per 9 hours and 1 job per 8 hours. Now, if they work together, meaning they will combine their jobs or they will combine their efforts, so we will use the operation plus. How long will it take them to do the job? So that is 1 job over X time. We don't know. Okay. So, this is a simple problem about rational algebraic expression. So, what we do here is we get the LCD. So, the LCD for 9, 8, and X is, of course, 72X. Because 72 can be good for 9 and can also be good for 8. As well as the X is good for the X. Okay, so that is 72X. Now, what we do here is we multiply 72x to the whole equation. So we have 72x times 1 over 9 plus 1 over 8 equals 1 over x times 72x. Okay. So this 72x will be distributed to each fraction. So that is 72x over 9 and 72x over x. Okay. So the result of that will become 72x over 9, that will be 8x. Because 72 divided by 9 is 8. Alright. 72x divided by 8, that is 9x. Because 72 divided by 8 is 9 with the x, 9x. And we have here, cancel all the x. So we have 1 times 72, that is 72. Now we have here an equation in which our variable are already in the left side of the equation. So we just add this one. 8 plus 9, and that is 17x equals 72. Now, in order for us to solve for the value of x, we just divide the whole equation by 17, and 17 divided by 17, that is 1, so we have x only, and 72 over 17, that cannot be divided easily, so we just use our mixed number. So we have 4 and 4 over 17 hours because 72 over 17 we have 4 hours however we still have a fraction of 4 over 17 because that will be the remainder of dividing 72 by 17 easy right okay so it will take mario and al 4 and 4 over 17 hours if they work together now i just like to emphasize this my dear math learners for mario it took 9 hours. For Al, it took 8 hours. Therefore, if they work together, it will took lesser time. Okay? So, it took them 4 and 4 over 17 hours. Okay? Now, let us have another example. Myra takes 2 hours to plant 500 flower bulbs. Francis takes 3 hours to plant 450 flower bulbs. Working together, how long should it take them to plant 1,500 bulbs? Okay, now, this is a problem in which there are a lot of given, right? Okay, so let's just have first a representation of each person. Two hours to plant 500 for Myra. Okay, so we have 500 bulbs per two hours. So if we take that per hour... Okay, so that is 250 bulbs per hour. You just divide 500 by 2, that is 250 bulbs per hour. So that is the rate of Myra. Now, for Francis, we have 450 bulbs per 3 hours. If we simplify 450 bulbs per 3 hours, that is 150 bulbs per hour. So as you can see, Myra can do it in 250 bulbs per hour, while Francis can do it 150 bulbs per hour. Now, if they are working together to plant 1,500 bulbs, how do we do that? Okay, 
So what we do is, if we add 250 plus 150 bulbs per hour, that is 400 bulbs per hour for the both of them, right? Because Myra can finish 250 in an hour and Francis can finish 150 in an hour. Okay, so that is 400 bulbs per hour to the both of them. Okay, now we are dealing here with how many time or how much time. So what we do here is we will use this 400 bulbs per hour. Okay, and, and we will equate that to our 1,500 bulbs. So that is 400 over 1 because 400 bulbs per hour per 1 hour. And what we are trying to get here is how many hours, that is T, we don't know yet, in 1,500 bulbs. Okay, so we have 400 over 1 equals 1, 5 or 1,500 over T. Okay, so what we do here is we just cross multiply. So we have 400 T because 400 times T, that is 400 T. And 1 times 1, 5 or 1,500, that is still 1,500. So what we do here is we divide the whole equation by 400 for us to have t okay so by doing so we have 1500 over 400 so if we divide 1500 over 400 we will have 15 over 4 okay and that 15 over 4 if you divide that that is 3 and 3 fourth meaning 3 hours and 45 minutes because 3 fourth of an hour that is 45 minutes. One half of an hour is 30 minutes. One fourth of an hour is 15 minutes. Therefore, the three fourth is 45 minutes. So that is three hours and 45 minutes. So if they work together and they want to finish 1,500 bulbs, then they can finish the job at three and three fourth hours or three hours and 45 minutes. Is it right? Now let us go. To our final example. Okay. One pipe can fill a pool 1.5 times faster than a second pipe. If both pipes are open, the pool can be filled in 6 hours. If only the slower pipe is open, how long would it take to fill the pool? Okay. So, this is a problem in which I will show you how to do it step by step okay okay math learners to answer this problem first thing we should know is what are the given it has been said that we have two pipes right so the first pipe is represented as p and the second pipe does 1.5 times as much right 1.5 times as much now um if they work together the whole pipe will have six hours okay now we are talking about time here right so one job for the first pipe is one over p one per time okay then the other is one over 1.5 p which is one job that is 1.5 times the time okay now if we add this together they will have one job to six hours. The question is, what is the time of the slower pipe, right? Okay, so first thing we should know is to get the value of the P. Now, having this solution or this mathematical sentence, what you need to do is to get first the LCD. Now, the LCD of the variable here in the denominator is, of course, that is P. And in the new and in the coefficients or the numbers, it has a one here. It is one point five and it has six. So one, one point five and six. What is the LCD of those numbers? If we count by six and if we count by one point five, then technically we will arrive to a common number and that is six. Okay. So now. We will use the 6p as our multiplier to our whole equation. So, if this is our whole equation, we will multiply 6p to each side of the equation, the right and the left. Okay, so by doing the distributive property, this will give us 6p over p 
if we do the second term, we will have 6p over 1.5p. And if we do here, we will have 6p over 6. Now, by simplifying, p and p here can be cancelled. We have 6. If we simplify, p and p here will be cancelled. 6 divided by 1.5, that is 4. And if we simplify this one, 6 will be cancelled. We have p. Therefore, 6 plus 4, that is 10, is equal to p. Therefore, we have 10 hours for the first pipe. Okay. So, if P is 10 hours for the first pipe, then 1.5 times, that is 1.5 times our 10 hours, and that is 15 hours. Now, remember that we are trying to find here the slower pipe. 10 hours to finish and 15 hours to finish. Which is the slower pipe in these two given pipes? Okay. Therefore, our final answer is... 15 hours. Okay, and that is how you solve for our given problem. Okay, math learners, we have here your try these exercises. We have two problems given to you. I hope you can answer these two problems. And if you think that you are hesitant to solve this one or to solve word problems involving rational algebraic expression, do not forget to put some comments on our comment section below. Okay. Thank you very much. This is still your free access math teacher Ash. And always remember to like, subscribe, and share our channel. Thank you to all your support. And do not forget that it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you, God bless, and keep safe. Fellow math learners, if you think you like this video, hit the like button and the subscribe button. That is if you are committed of learning mathematics the easy way. Thank you.